Let's get started, okay? It's group, group time. Hello, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to some new people. Uh, this is Allison and her friend Joe. Um, Allison's a friend of Joe, and she brought him along today so that he could take his first steps, his progression towards healing. Hey, Charles. What can I do for you? Just about done? Uh, yeah. Well, it's quitting time. So, should get out of here? You know, putting in a lot of extra effort recently. Yeah. Well, sure. No problem. All right. Well, enjoy your weekend. All right. Time to go home. Good to see you, bro. I brought home some food. Yay. I'm so hungry. Great. I'll cook something great. You feel all right, Jimmy? You barely touched it. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just don't feel like eating. Oh, that's odd. Well, maybe you're coming down with something. You better take it easy tonight. I just got you back home. I hate for you to get sick or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh! 
Is this Hank Tennerman? He was on your list, right? Does anyone know what happened here? So the neighbors heard shouting between him and his brother. Other than that, witnesses. At first glance, it looks like one was attacking the other, and Hank here used the glass shards of the bottle to defend himself before bleeding out. I assume the attacker is the skull in the corner with the bashed in head? Correct. James Tenderman. His brother James? That's what I have so far. Someone's not giving you the right information. What do you mean? His brother James died of leukemia three years ago. Then who's this guy? Well, like you said, it's James Tennerman. What I don't know is how the hell did he get here? Well, what are you going to do? First, I'm going to have a smoke. Then I'm going to go talk to that priest, see if I can get some more information out of him. We should also hunt down the last two on that list, see how they're doing. I have a feeling trouble's heading their way. All right. Keep going, keep clean in, give me some sexy. Yeah. A little mystery in there. Give me a little, oh, yes. Perfect. A little sexy right there. Too sexy, too sexy. No, I'm kidding. Keep going, keep going. Cool. Joe, your two o'clock's here. Oh, uh, already? This is your office. Okay. I guess that's it then. It was fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, and shall I go get changed then? I'll talk to you later? For sure. We'll schedule something for next week. Thanks so much. For sure. Thank you, Brooke. Mr. Alexander, thank you so much for waiting. Of course, Joe. By the way, what are you shooting for? It's a spread for Elixir. Very nice. Nice. Good for publication. Yeah, they're great. I'm a big fan. Me too. Cool. So what do you have for me today? A few of the same from the last before. OK. Yeah, I've worked with her before. Bit of a ice queen, you know? Yeah. We'll take this one, though. You're right. And this one. Who's this? Let me see. Oh, she's the new one. We signed her up the last Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, there's something different about her. Her, her face or something different. Do you want her for something? <laughs> I don't even know what I would use her for, but I guess I could use her for something. You always can book her up, take some photos, and then use that later on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I might do that. You might? <laughs> you know what? Fine. Book her and set it up. I'll find some place to use her. We'll do it. Captain Harris wants to see you. You want to see me, Captain? <clears throat> Just listen. What happened that night in group therapy? It went as it usually did. Oh. I'm so sorry. sorry. Joe, I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. Oh, welcome. I'm Allison. Are you William? Yes, we spoke on the phone. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. This is my friend Joe, the one I was telling you about. Hi, Joe. It's very nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet your father. Please, William. William is fine. Um, would either of you care for a cup of coffee? No, thanks. No? I'll take one. Well, it's right over there. You can just help yourself. Thank you. <laughs> so listen, Joe, I, I, I know your friend is the reason that you're here, but I want you to know that this is a place where you can be yourself. I'm not going to force you to do or say anything you don't want to, but if you want to, well, by all means, do. Okay? It's gonna be fine, okay? Go. No? All right, let's get started, okay? 
It's group, group time. My understanding, this is all you got from that William character, correct? Correct, sir. And it says you want to bring him in for questioning again. It's essential for the investigation. How? The night in question is the only connection that we have. The night of group <laughs> therapy, right? Except that didn't lead anywhere. And by bringing the priest in again and again, especially if he hasn't seen these people in a year, borderlines on harassment. It's not harassment, all right? There's something about this guy. He's, he's hiding something from me. And the photographer isn't? Mm -hmm. It's a dead lead. You get one more with this guy. One more. Officer Jenkins here will assist you. I don't need assisting. You do if I say you do. That'll be all. be grace yeah it's nice to meet you <laughs> yeah come on in i'm just getting set up oh do you want me to wait outside no no worries i just didn't expect you to be so early <laughs> okay this is a really nice studio oh thank you so much do you know i used to be a singer oh really <laughs> no not really <laughs> just something i always wanted to do but you're a model though yes that i am i love that and photography i'm super passionate about both oh, both sides of the camera oh yes yeah, maybe you can teach me a thing or two. I would love to. Is this your work? Yeah, some of my earlier stuff before I really knew what I was doing, so don't judge too harshly. No, I love it. It's amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. You never told me what your name was. <laughs> my name is Joe. <laughs> Hi. Am I interrupting anything? Not at all. This is our new model for the day. Meet Grace. Hi, I'm Grace. Nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> Me too. Thank you for today. It was amazing. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yeah, of course. So I guess you'll send some of these to the agency when you're done editing them? Yeah, or if you have some free time, you can drop by the studio, I'll give you a sneak preview, and send you whatever you like. Yeah, that would be amazing. Um, are you available tomorrow? Tomorrow's perfect. All right, then I'll see you tomorrow. Cool. Yeah. Until right. then. Bye. <clears throat> What's that look for? You know damn well what that look is for. <sighs> Come on, Allie. I'm a professional. Everything's gonna be okay. Well, it has nothing to do with that. But that girl, she's trouble. That girl? Th that girl is the sweetest girl in the universe. Okay, well, <laughs> that's your opinion. <laughs> I'll be yeah. fine. My opinion, and no, he won't be fine.
Hey, my last meal. Shit choice. Hey. It's just a bite, you'll live. Father, where's your latest victim? Is he already in the chair? Detective, I wasn't expecting to see you here today. Hmm. Yeah, I had some extra time, thought I'd pay you a visit. How can I help you, Detective? I'm looking for William. Last time he was at the church, picked him up easy. Now, he says he hasn't been home in two weeks. Any thoughts on that? Hmm. Are you sure there's anything else you'd like to talk about, Detective? You, you seem tense. No, just William. <clears throat> Mr. Williams is at my home. Hmm. He's been going through a rough time and he needed a place to stay. So if you'd like me to take you there, I will. That'd be great. Thank you. Oh. Hello, officer. Charles Vestman. I was uh, Hank's supervisor. Officer Jenkins. Just have a few questions. Uh, won't take much of your time. Sure, uh, anything I can help with. I don't know what I know, though. Well, what can you tell me about Hank? Hank was a good worker. A little quiet. Kept to himself, mostly. Did you, uh... Did you notice any difference after his brother James died? Yeah, there was a air of sadness about him. I mean... Wouldn't have in that situation, though. I see. And did you ever meet his brother James? Oh, I think he brought him to a company picnic a long time ago. It's a while ago. I really don't remember any details. Did you know that Hank was going to therapy for his depression after James died? No, but uh, it would make sense to help him, you know? I mean, get better. Mr. Vestman, what exactly do you know about Hank's death? Just something about a break-in or a burglary at his house? Home invasion? Something like that? I see. Why is that not what happened? Hank had his face eaten off. What? That's, that's all for now. I'll, I'll let you know if I need anything else. Okay. Thank you. Oh. William? Long time no see. Who's it this time? Hank Tennerman, male, age 38. Oh, dear Lord. So you didn't know him? Correct. This is number five, William. Please, don't tell me what happened to him. I don't want to know what happened. His brother ate his face off. Jesus. So now you know what happened. I've told you everything I know, Detective. Everything. See, I don't think you have. I have! I think we should go through the list again. No, please. Lisa Huntington, female, age 26, popular underground singer, had a show one night, electrocuted by her own microphone. Mateo Bloodstone, male, age 50, drank the world's largest beer last summer and still the world record holder. That night, his insides were eroded and eaten, cause of death, Major. Stop! Please! Just stop! I've had enough of this! Enough of the games, William. I think it's time that you tell us what really happened that night in group. I night. am a man of God! Oh, God damn it. William, you gotta work with me here. I'm a killer. I think I'm a killer. I think you, you know something. Pray. You make me look so beautiful. Oh, you are beautiful. I'm just 
was lucky enough to capture it. <laughs> Thanks. Um, this one's my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. That one's nice, but this one is my favorite. Hmm, this one's definitely interesting. You're so talented. Oh, thank you. You are too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Can I come back tomorrow? Sure. I have a shoot in the morning, but if you come by in the afternoon, you can make something happen. Yeah, for sure. I'll definitely be here. Cool. Here's your beverage. Is there anything else I can get you? Oh, no, thank you. It seems the wall is caving in The rope I walk is getting thin I'm looking down in deep despair I'm wishing hard, but there's nothing there But the sun will rise tomorrow Coming to the stage right now is our local favorite, Lisa Huntington. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. Okay. No one saw it coming. We check all the electrical gear every morning before we open. It was horrible. Just a uh, couple more questions, okay? Seen either of these men before or after the accident? I'm pretty good with faces, but I don't recognize either one. Okay, I'm going to give you my card. If you see either of them, you give me a call. I'll, uh, I'll leave those with you. Are they dangerous? No, but they might be connected to the accident. Have a nice day. Right, nice. <laughs> yes, good big pose. <clears throat> Excellent. Give me a smile. Yeah. All right. Keep going, keep turning around. Smiling. Nice. Yes. You're carefree. You're carefree. I'm carefree. You're so happy. Actually, can we get a little powder on her? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Maya. Are you sure? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you know what? Go for it. Like the ah! Old, like baby face look like less retouchy. She's already just there. Yeah, no, no powder, no powder. Cool. Actually, yeah, you know what? Oh. <laughs> Guys. Hold up, hold up, but <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, well, hi, Grace. Hey. What in the hell is she doing here? She's a friend. I invited her. I don't know what you do. It's fine. We're just friends. Good help. See you later. Bye, Brooke. That'll be all for today. We can get changed. <laughs> is it okay if I'm here? Yeah, totally. Are you sure? For sure. Okay. Well, it's nice to see you. Good to see you, too. How's Happy your day been? July. Oh, it's been nice. Good? Yeah. Have you eaten today? Not yet. Is it because you're a model and you don't eat? Obviously. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you want to go get some with me? Yeah, for sure. Let's go. Awesome. Let me unplug you. You got it. Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to be done, Captain. I need that report on my desk by Friday. No later than Friday. Okay. I'm working on it. Harris. Captain. What can I do for you? I heard the priest didn't give you anything. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Listen, I know it's difficult, this case. A lot of it doesn't make any sense. No one wanted it, and you got stuck with it. A dead lead's a dead lead. Look, there's just something about this guy. You know, I, I don't trust him. He's a priest. What more do you want? Yeah, fair enough. Keep up the good work, though. All right. Good, good. A little half smile. Great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Lean to the left just a little. And great. All right. Look down and just quickly look back up at me. Yeah. That's it. One more time. Great. You're still here. Yeah, of course I stayed. I love watching you work. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. I noticed you were shooting a male today. Do you typically shoot male models? Well, not normally. Most of my models are female. Mm. Are they beautiful? <laughs> yeah, they tend to be beautiful. I'm a photographer. It's part of the job. Mm. Do you date a lot of your models? Not necessarily. Why not? They're still beautiful. I'm still in a wheelchair. That has nothing to do with it. Would it be bad if I kissed you right now? Chugged the beer and everyone was cheering. You know, celebrating. There's nothing out of the usual. So when did you realize that he was dead? Uh, it was the next day, I think. Yeah, I was scared shitless how I was gonna lose my license. Yeah, that. But can I ask why we're going over this again? I answered all these questions when he died. We've had a new factor enter the case. New factor? Yeah. Do you recognize this man? He doesn't look familiar. What about him? Sorry. Don't know him. Right. Well, if anything rings the bell, you let me know. Okay. Right. Thanks for your time. Giovanni Regressi? Hey, officer. What can I do you for? Well, I'm here to talk to you about Tony Saraguchi. Yeah, he used to work here, but he's dead. Yes, I'm aware of that. All right, well, if that's everything, I got some work to do. It's not everything. Do you mind? Hey, it's 34 minutes before I got to get out of here. The rush hour. Of course I mind. Listen, just tell me about the last time you saw him, the night he died. The last time I saw him, he crashed his car up there on the corner. He died later that night at the hospital. Don't you have this in your records? And it wasn't quick either. You know this man here? I don't recognize him. His name is Hank Tennerman. Does it ring any bells? Nope. I know everybody in this neighborhood. So Tony was in a group therapy program. Any idea why? Everybody's got problems. There's no surprise there. I see. How about this man here? Nah. Nah, sorry. Can't help you there either. He's a photographer. Also in the same group therapy program as Hank and Tony. Wow, nice. If you see him, if he comes in, you give me a call. Hey, will do. And the same goes for that Hank guy too, yeah? Hank's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Why are you asking me about him for that? Have a nice day. You can see yourself out.
Giovanni. Hey, Tony, what the hell, man? You're three hours late. <laughs> What's going on, man? Bro, three hours late for what? I, I don't work here. <laughs> I'm a hey, fucking millionaire. <laughs> you're, you're drunk is what you are. You need to get out of my kitchen. I'm a drunk millionaire? I won the fucking... Yeah, hey, that's great, Tony. Great. Vaughn, you gotta listen to me, bro. I got work to do here, all right? You fucking kidding me? You, you listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth, man? I'm gonna buy your fucking restaurant. I'm gonna buy this shitty shack and throw it in the garbage and get you a new one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's good. All good. Yes, you need to get out of here. You and this floozy, go. Hello everyone. I'd like to introduce in some new people. This is uh, Allison and um, her friend Joe. Um, Allison is a friend of Joe's and she brought him along tonight in order for him to take his first steps, his um, progression towards healing. So Joe, if you'd like to share something, you can. If, if not, we can, you know, move on to the next person. Hi, I'm Joe. I used to be an athlete, but a car accident took away the use of both of my legs. It drove me into a pretty dark depression, and it caused my fiance to leave me. She was a bitch. Allison, Joe, please. Continue. No, that's it. Hey, it's me. Look, I, I know your birthday's coming up in a couple of days, and I just wanted to make sure you had a good one. I, I guess that's about it. I hope everything's going really well for you. I believe you called her last night. Yeah. I felt like I made so much progress, too. Well, did she call you back? No. Did that hurt? Yeah. Well, stop it. Uh, Duh. I know. It's Dude. done. It's a one-time thing. It's out of my system. Yeah, but I don't even know why you called her in the first place. You know that model I've been hanging out with? Oh, Lord. We kissed. You are just a mess, dude. Like... I know, I know. It's just that I kissed her and I felt nothing at all. Just total emptiness. So I called her. Well, you better call the model before you dig yourself in a deeper hole. I will. Yeah, I'll let her know tonight she'll come by the studio. Right. Today, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Right, yeah. Just run your fingers through your hair. Perfect. Cool. Now give me one when you're putting your glasses on. Take them off. And put them back on. Nice. Just like that. Cool. All right, everyone take five. We'll set up for the next shot. All right, I'm going to get you to go ahead and okay. sign the release. Grace, hey. Hey. How are you? What are you doing? Oh, got it. I'm just reading. <laughs> yes, models read too, believe it or not. Uh, I was wondering if you'd want to come down to the studio later tonight. Yeah, yeah, I can come down, for sure. Um, I'll be ready in like 30 minutes. Oh, I can't right now. I gotta run home and pick up some stuff. But I should be free in an hour and a half, if that works for you. 
Okay, that sounds perfect. Um, I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> He said unto me, give rest to peace, my son, for God knows what you do. Stay and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Hey, Father, you busy? I'm reading a man his last rites here. Ah! Hi, Jay. Surprised? Yeah. What are you doing here? You called me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think you were actually listening. How did you even get in here? The key under the welcome mat. Huh. Right. Why did you come, Kara? I wanted to see you. Do you want to see me? Yeah, I do. Good. You look real good. Thanks. So do you. Do you want some tea and maybe we can talk? Yeah, that'd be nice. These are beautiful. I can't believe you took these. You're so talented. Thanks. Why didn't you ever tell me you knew how to do photography? Oh. It wasn't something I got into until after the accident. You don't have to be so far away. Okay, I don't really know how to act around you anymore. I'm still kind of scared. You really hurt me when you went away. I guess I'm still kind of defensive. It's understandable. Should have handled it better. I was young and I, I didn't know what I wanted in life. I'm sorry, Joe. What do you want now? I'm here, aren't I? Man walking. Shut up! You're next. <laughs> Detective? Father? <sighs> Last time I was here, you asked me if there was anything I needed to talk to you about. Yes, I remember. And you said no. Well, I need to talk. What's troubling you, Detective? This last case. A lot of dead bodies, just 
all seemingly convenient accidents. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Okay, I know. Why are you telling me this? Father, do you believe in the supernatural? You mean like ghosts and demons and such? It's just a question. I gotta be honest with you, I never did. Of course, I believe in the devil. I always thought the talk of ghouls and goblins were just stories. But I gotta tell you, I've been wearing this collar for a long time and I've seen a lot of things. I guess I've changed. Have you ever experienced anything firsthand? Detective, you seem like a really good person. Take my advice. Leave this alone. You know it's my job to find out what's going on, right? You said for yourself that most people believe that these deaths were accidents. Just let them believe. Yeah, Mom, I just got home. No, today was definitely not the best day. How was your day? I'm glad to hear that. Makes me feel a little better. How's Dad? Set up a lunch for next week, maybe? That sound good? <laughs> okay, Mom. No. No, I do not want to go on a date with your coworker son. That will not make me feel any better right now. Trust me, I do not want to be dating anyone right now. No, nothing happened. Yes, Mom. I promise you I would tell you if something was wrong. <laughs> yes. I'll call you tomorrow. Yeah, I promise. I'll see you then, okay? Yeah, Mom. Okay.
Grace? Grace! So the last time you saw the victim was here, 2.30 p.m. two days ago, in your studio. Yeah, that's correct. Your security tapes will verify that? Yeah. Right. Who else has a key to this place? Uh, my assistant, Allison. And this place was locked when you arrived this morning? Yeah. Weren't you supposed to meet with the victim last night here at your studio? I was. But you didn't because you were with a Miss Kara Levinson in your apartment. That's right. And Miss Levinson can verify your whereabouts? She can. Who is Kara Levinson? Kara is my ex fiance. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. How you doing? I'm okay. The detective said I could leave. Do you need a ride? No. I don't know how long they're going to keep me here. You go ahead. All right. Call me later, okay? For sure. Thanks, Allie. Of course. Just got her voicemail, but we're gonna follow up. I'm sending a detective to her house. Listen, Joe, you gotta tell me what happened that night in group therapy. What do you mean? I mean, I've got a growing list of bodies, all from a certain night of a group therapy meeting. You, her, and the priest are the only ones left. No one's told you anything? You told me a little here and there, but... Nothing that warrants this. Help me put the pieces together, Joe. Okay. I'll tell you. I can't promise it'll do any good. I'm listening. Well, hopefully we can help you find yourself again. Okay. Um, well, I think we've heard from everyone, so... What about that guy? Who? He's just been standing there not saying anything. Oh, I, I, I'm i sorry, I didn't see you there. What, what, what's your name? My name? Been around a long time. Been called a lot of things. What you call me? It's not important. Well, what do you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what you want. You're all here because you want something. You crave something. What if I told you that I can give you that I can give you all your desires? Whatever you want. Whatever the desire was. All you have to do is say yes. Sir, you have to leave. Please. This is in Charlotte. Please leave, sir. I'll call the police if you don't. Sometimes the Lord, it's okay. And that's it? That's it. All right, Macy. You better not be lying to me. I'm not. Well, definitely be following up with you soon. You need a ride? Yeah. Yeah, call one. Have a good night.
with you, son. William. Hey, Joe. What are you doing here? I'm sorry I couldn't come earlier. For what? Joe. It's a dead girl. How do you even know about that? Something's after you. I know it's been a while, but you need to believe me on this. I don't know what we're dealing with. The world. A fragile place. Things roam the earth. Okay. I think you should get going then. You don't believe me? You should heed my warning. Uh, have a good day, Will. Kara? Was that your friend I heard earlier? What are you doing here? There were police in front of my apartment. I was frightened. Didn't know where else to go. I love you. Kara, this is Officer Jenkins. 
Are you in here? Harris. Harris, we found Kara Levinson. Great, put her on. She's deceased, sir. Has been for a few days. Call the cop that's on standby there. Make sure no one leaves. Yeah, I'm on my way. Copy that. Just pulled up to the subject's house. Going in. Request backup. Hey, Joe, I don't know what the hell happened today, but I know you didn't kill those girls. Feel better soon. We'll be in touch. How's our guy holding up? Doing well. He's uh, stabilizing and he'll be okay once we get him where he needs to be. Oh, good, good. Um, why doesn't this work? I, I, I need my music, man. Right? Oh, I understand, I understand. I love music and stuff, but it's all right. Our ETA is about 15 minutes. And once we get him there safe and sound, it'll be all good. Yeah, yeah, everything's okay. Uh, listen, are the girls home yet? Yeah, they are both here with me. Could you go give them a hug for me? 
Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. You sound worried. It's scaring me. It would just make me feel a little better. Okay. Well, I love you. Okay. Yeah, you too. Got a report on the other crime scene. Go ahead. Two bodies, one injured. And Detective Harris? She arrived on the scene. She's there now. Sir, uh, about the bodies. What? One of them is thought to be Kara Levinson. But it turned to ash shortly after, and no one knows what to make of it. That's impossible. Sir? Get them on the line now. I have a feeling this isn't over. What the hell's going on here? Uh-oh. What is oh, wrong with these people? my God. Hey, turn off the sirens. Just go around. Come on, get out of the way. Oh, are you crazy? You better go around. I think they might need some help. Should we go check on them? No, 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 no. No. Really? Are you crazy? You better go around. I'll be right back. No, 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 no. We don't have time for this. Where are you going? Oh my God. Stop looking at me like that. Stop. <laughs> Shit. Stop. Come on! Hello? Hello? I'm... I'm an EMT. Does anybody need any medical assistance? Hello? Hello? I'm coming by. Does anybody require medical assistance? Checking to see if everything's okay. Allison? I'm so sorry, Joe. What are you doing here? He said he... I could have anything I wanted. What are you talking about? beautiful woman like yourself shouldn't be drinking coffee alone. How? That should how, be a sin. Who are you? You know exactly who I am. I don't. What do you want? To give you everything you want, of course. <laughs> oh, I don't want anything from you. Of course you do. I know what your heart is feeling. You've been sad for so long. Poor child. Lived so much of your life feeling like you weren't good enough. Not knowing what it's like to be beautiful. Wondering why you always come in last place. Seeing the one you love. 
love someone else can tear a person apart. Especially when those others don't deserve the love that you do. Those evil, wretched women bringing pain to your true soulmate. There's nothing you can do about it. I can give you that power. With them gone, it's only me left. Can you offer a cigarette? Yeah, you got one? Thanks. Anything else you desire? Afternoon. Detective Jenkins. Well, what a nice surprise. What do I owe to this visit? I'm just out on patrol in the area. Thought I'd stop by. Well, isn't that convenient? Seems to happen every weekend, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Well, if that's all there is. We're gonna find your friend Joe. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna find out what happened that night. I'm sure you will. And I do hope you find Joe. I miss him dearly. Sure you do. You have a good afternoon. Jenkins, sorry to hear about Detective Harris. She was quite the officer. See you next. <laughs>